support. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Miss Texas Show with your co-host, Elena Georgiou. And excited, as always, to bring you another edition of our show and another wonderful, wonderful guest. And that guest today is Nuria. And she's a founder of Jade Co. Productions Org, where she supports youth, teenagers, and women for their economic and personal independence. And also Coco Diversity and Garden Heaven Project and many, many more. And we're going to talk about Nuria. We're super excited to have you, Nuria, with us today and tell us about more about her story, about her journey, and all the wonderful things she has done and the wonderful way she helps others. So with that, we will have Nuria on the show. So we look forward to having her and talking with all of you. The Ms. Texas Show is a voice of hope for victims, survivors, advocates, and community leaders against gender-based violence to share their stories and resources. We began showcasing life in Texas. Today, we are impacting lives not only in Texas, but also around the world. Under our segment, Military Time, we run this segment in partnership with the National Veterans Chamber of Commerce. We invite military and veterans who have overcome traumatic events to share their experiences during and after their military service. Under our beauty segment, we invite fellow pageant winners and contestants, artists, musicians, actors, models, and dancers, and last but not least, our survivor leaders from family violence, sex trafficking, sexual assault, stalking, and other traumatic events who are ambassadors for these causes to share their lives and the impact they have made. To become a guest on our show, email us at msusatexas at gmail.com. If you would like to support victims and survivors of gender-based violence, make a tax-deductible donation to Hope Picks Global at www.hopeyxglobal.org. Hello again, and welcome to the Miss Texas Show. As always, we're not only excited to have another great conversation, but another incredible guest. So our guest today is no less of an honor and pleasure. So we have Nuria with us today. She has found new ways to break circles of trauma, which has the potential to impact future generations. She has launched an initiative called Raffadelia and Boots, a professional training on native boot and wraps. And she will share with us the art of bootstrapping or learning how to become self-sustained by launching a business. We're super excited to have you here with us today and super honored. And you have definitely had a tremendous journey and a lot of experiences. And you have done so much to help so many others. So Nuria, if you could, let our viewers know about yourself, who you are, a little bit about your journey, and more about you. Thank you, Elena. It's an honor, a pleasure to be here with you and to share this important message that it's time that we really, really make a change in all what's related with the abuse and cruelty that we suffer. So what I would like to share a little bit is um, that it, it's been quite uh, uh, early that I became aware that my story was related with all my project and all what I've been doing in my life. And this is very curious because it's like to become aware the huge impact the trauma causes when you are in a childhood abuse. And um, I wanted to, to share this with all because we are not quite aware when we are little and we suffer the trauma. I was uh, sexually abused around the age of six years, but I was not aware until I was 30 years. I really dissociated the trauma when we are little, we hide it. And we, are, we do not know because it's not rational for us. And we have to understand that our child, we will know if something has happened, if we can see uh, behaviors and some, sometimes uh, uh, reactions, you know, that are not uh, usual. But for me, what it has been very, very impacting is that although we are years and years and years talking about this 
many, many persons doing things. It's, we are still suffering these things. It's, uh, it's around three to four children that uh, out of five that suffer different type of abuse. We have to also be clear that uh, uh, the abuse is not only the penetration, okay? Abuse is maybe forcing to touch, maybe be touched. There are so many things. And well, I'm a person that I like to dive deep to, to find the solutions. And since 2007, I began this, this inner journey to find what was my place and space that I could really, really serve and help because you get overwhelmed. You know, there are so many things. But together with my inner journey, you know, I found that uh, it's in the teenage girls that suffer sexual abuse and they get pregnant. The ones that are the least, least hurt and helped. And at the same time, I think they are the key for the change because uh, the sexual abuse in a teenager impacts two lives, the girl, the teen girl and the baby. And the teen girl usually uh, they drop studying, they, they drop their lives, you know, and this transcends to their children. So what I found to cut the circle is that we, women intergenerational, you know, you, me, and so many, create small groups in small Okay, but that we get all as one, you know, we can guide them, we can transmit our experience, we can transmit healings, teachings and many things, but we have to do it together, not separately. Up to now, uh, I've seen many projects that it's okay, I am here and I give it to you. And I believe in no, we are one, we do it together. Now, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm starting the first craft atelier of boots and hearing in, in Mexico. And that's what I'm telling to all the, the, the team that we are creating. We are one. So when we maybe ask something, we also answer that question. We also share. We also get in the same level. Because I think it's very important, very, very important uh, that we that we as women recover being together, you know? Because when, I don't know if you have a red uh, woman who run with wolves of Clarissa Pinkola says, but I, I truly believe that we have to reconnect as women, that we have to recuperate our own value and stop asking for permission. If we can do, if we can, we still are very in that, in that beliefs because we have been raised this way and it's all around the world. I don't care where we are. I can be in Mexico, you can be in Greece, there's, can be in Texas, I don't care. We suffer the same things and we have been taught, you know, to shut up, no value, there's nothing. And well, I would be talking hours and hours. So Elena, if you want to ask me, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow, I just want to ask you, what led you to create this organization? I really like the idea that we are one. Yes, this is really good. Do you think by this organization, teenage girls thrive in it? I mean, when you, you gather them as a group there and they share their experiences and you work together, you educate them. What do you think that this is a, a way to, to heal the trauma? that's going on in their lives. Yeah, the first thing that I have, uh, that I discovered because I've been doing a lot of research, I've been cooperating with many organizations. And the first thing that I, that I see no matter where you are, because this project is itinerant, it can be 
uh, well, my dream is to plant these seeds in different parts of the world. Uh, the first thing is to treat them with dignity. Talk to them one-to-one, -one. not like stupid little girls, oh, wow, your decision was bad because some are pregnant just because they fall in love. And you know, that's a, another reality. That's why we attend everyone, not only violated, but the ones that have. And so the first thing, and I'm sure if you treat them with dignity, with respect, it's amazing the response. And also being aware that the first part is to create trust, to create confidence. And the other thing for me very important is I'm, uh, we are not going to impose what you have to do or think. No, we are going to listen. We are going to take care of, the, of that huge uh, heaven gift that we all carry. So the first part is to create a, a place of trust and just wanted to know ourselves. And then what I, the way that I believe for me is it's like a kind of translation, you know, you have to, to think, to put in their food. So imagine I have a, one of the girls is 40 years old and already has a baby. So we have to understand that they have a way of perceiving. So we have to be very gentle, you know, very caring. And then just, just you have to grow it as you walk. Don't pretend. It's important is the goal. We want to facilitate good lives. Can you imagine? That's super. <laughs> Can you imagine? So the goal is the important thing and the how you will build it as you work. Um, I remember when we began the first meetings with these girls, oh, we were saying, I have what we are going to do, the program, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden we say, come on, the first thing that has rise is that they are not opening their mouth. They don't have voice. They talk of what the, mm, the, the partner says that they have to say, or the mama says, and it was surprising. They have no voice. They do not know that they have voice. So guess what? Reschedule everything. The first part, let's see, let's, let's create things so that we empower them, but we have to be very soft and gentle. Yes, and non-judgmental. I mean, oh, no. they express is, uh, we accept it. Anything. I will share with you the 10, the 10 we have created at the Calic of values that is for the group. And one is that don't judge, don't take it personal and don't make suppositions. Don't suppose, I suppose now that's one of the, and we have, uh, it was, it's been very nice because I said, okay, we put the values like trust, uh, respect, these words can sound very strange to them because some of them drop the school, you know? Yeah. So what we have done is a translation. Uh, for example, for responsibility, we have tell them, uh, you can, you can do it and it's everything on your hands. So take it, you know? Uh, for respect, we, we have said, uh, value yourself and value your, your partners, our colleagues, our mates here, you know? And because also one of the things that we want to achieve is to create new ways of relations. That's very important. We already have a conflict. One doesn't like the other and if the other is here. I'm not here. They wanted to drop the program. And I said, no, no way. You are in the program. Okay, we are going to work with you separately mm -hmm. as we walk and we will be able to join. But that's a huge point we have to give tools for life. With, with the evaluations, they don't have tools for life. It's, it was, uh, you know. The, uh, the point of responsibility, how are they coping with that? Because uh, they learn in the whole life to not have a voice and to obey rules. Isn't it really uh, difficult for them to cope responsibility? You know, yeah. I, when you I listened to that word, I said, ooh, 
that's a difficult one, uh, difficult step, isn't it? It's a very difficult, very difficult. That's why I insisted here that I say it's not a matter of time. I don't care if it takes three months, four months, one year, I don't care. But the high purpose is what we want to achieve. And I like that you say that because I remember when I was in Peru, because all this started in Peru, uh, I visited a wise woman, you know, from Italy that had an organization that took care of teen girls. And I remember I did a research asking the, the few organizations that uh, address teen girls. And I remember uh, asking, well, what's, what's the huge problem? What do you think is what is needed? But, and they all said the same thing, but this woman was amazing. She said, the huge problem is the lack of values. That's the huge problem. That's the core problem. Mm -hmm. And the adults, the, the, the adult world gives a very bad example. So we have to be example. How can I tell you to be uh, respectful if I'm not respectful? Exactly. That's also what I, I've seen very much uh, still this kind of way of educating that I ask you what I cannot do. And we have to break that because one of the goals for me, one of the big goals is that we create a new ecosystem and we have to do it. We have, we don't have to wait that governments, that the other, that the other. And the key, the key for me is women. We are the key. And it's time. It's time that we come together. We, each one of us have a story. Each one of us is so valuable. And what I would like to say is that I never thought I was valuable. It's one of the, one of the deep impacts is to feel so worthless and that you do not have the right. The other one has the right. I, I want you to be good. I will help you. I will sacrifice myself, but I will never do that for me. And that's a thing that we have, to, we can only heal if we work it together. We have to go back to care. I put in my, in my day, the art of care, caring. We have to go back. I remember I said it to the girls I did, and they didn't know what was care. And they asked me, what do you mean by care? And I said, okay. That's good. So, so you show uh, many ways. That's what we are doing. That's why the first part to help them break and to is by giving them care. And, uh, this next uh, Wednesday, we are preparing them what they call here La Posada. It's a party for and especially for them. And also it was very nice, the name they choose for the group, because we tell them, how do you want these uh, 10 girls, how do you want to be called the group, no? And they, I translate it to you because it's in Spanish, and they say, uh, warrior moms. Oh. Isn't it nice? <laughs> Isn't yeah. it? Oh. <laughs> warrior, so nice. moms. I like it. warrior moms, and I said, great, <laughs> mummies, and I say, mummies, whoa, wait. And that's the name of the group, of this group here. So we have a lot to, to walk, but we are so, 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 well, I'm so happy. So happy. For me, it's not hard work that. And they're, so let's they're see. very lucky to have you. They're very lucky. Oh, thank you so much. You're doing great, great job with the girls and I, you should continue doing it. And. How about challenges? What kind of challenges do you face in, in all this great work you're doing mm. with the girls? Yeah, that's a huge one, yes. Well, first challenge is that you, I think I'm, I'm an impatient person. So I imagine the first challenge is you need huge patience. And I think that one of the, the, the the advantages in front of the challenges that I have is that I always look for the solution. No problem is uh, too tall that I cannot jump it. But one challenge that, of course, we have to be aware is their own personal situation. So 
we have to be very careful, for example, in this case here, that we do not disturb the family because they can then force them not to come. There's a case, for example, of one of the girls and one of my colleagues wanted to call the police and I said, no, 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 that's not going to be good. That um, the, the partner, the father of the child is, uh, is in drugs. And here we have uh, to be very careful. For me, it's one of also the top rules is uh, not to harm when you want to, to help. Yeah. So it, you cannot look it as you. What I would do, no, this, but no, you have to put in the shoes of their situation. We also have um, the one that I was telling you that of the conflict. Mm -hmm. We think that it's the mummy that has been talking bad about the other girl toxic things. So this is the truth. So, and for me, that's why it's so important to face what it really is, not what it should be. Because many say, oh, this shouldn't happen. No, no, the reality is we have this. And so we have to be very aware to very quick. As I told you, the challenge of the girl saying, I dropped the program. No, 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 come on, no. We are going to flexibly, to adapt it for you. But we cannot drop because you have been toxic talking about the conflict with the other girl because the mom said that uh, maybe it's with the boyfriend, you know, that he's taking the boyfriend. You know, these things, this is a challenge. Because what I've seen all my life, anything you want to solve, anything you want to do, it's all about persons. And it's all about what have we have been said and, and talk and it has sadly been uh, a thing around the world of, uh, you know, putting the finger in, in the eye of the other. Yes. So that's the huge challenge, the human relations. What are, what are, what they have learned in their families, what they have been taught. And the conditioning they have uh, learned. Is there a way? Um, uh, do you explain them in a way that they're more than they were programmed to do? And do they accept? You know, there's culture, there is tradition, religion factors, everything. This is destroying everything. the the next generation in a way. That's why we have to be very so careful to open their minds, to show them more things, but at the same time being very aware that um, we cannot harm them because then they will close themselves. For example, the party that we are preparing, I said, ah, okay, with all the activities we're going to do, all I are focused on this, on showing, opening softly to other ideas that they maybe never have heard, but through the experience. So we are going to do a buffet of food. And what we want is to show them is that there are other ways to cook. There are other things, other cultures. Oh, maybe you have not tasted this in your life. So I said I wanted to make very special, very gourmet. So show them things that they are not used to. So food is going to be very important for me. The basics are very important because, for example, we also have seen that some of them, uh, we think, uh, have lack of nutrition. So we are going to do results. We are going to play cooking also, you know. We are going to use things, funny, playful, that they will be willing to come, but use that to work the values, to show different things, to talk about things that maybe they don't have heard. So we are going to do, it's like a huge combination. We're going to work in a project of Marmalites to make a business. Okay, so we are go we combine. That's why I say it's an hybrid system. We're going to combine all the things because also I think that 
it's time that we stop, see what has worked and what hasn't worked, let's change it. Let's not repeat, repeat the same formulas. Yeah. So mm, that's why it's a pioneer project because we are going to take them care individually. We're going to do the inner process of healing, the collective, everything. And with, with playful that they feel, you know, they want to come and also carrying all these things, these challenges that that can come, I know, I know, you know, there's uh, the problem here with the drugs and it's and the violence here. It's very easy, they kill, you know? So we have to be very, very, very careful. Yeah. You know, we this, cannot impose. No. Uh, so the situation is uh, where it's uh, pretty much terrible. Do, they, do you have any services, good services, I mean, for, welfare police and all that or they're not doing that much that they should we have to we have to adapt here i think that the advantage we have here in front of this challenge uh, is that uh, i cooperate with the two of the institutions that are here. And I, I insist that in each place you adapt. When I was in Peru, it was another issue. But here we have we have to accept, yes. you know, and for example, now it has been a, a change and then I, it's like a kind of taboo to talk it because it's like we, it's better to take it silent to not make awareness. So that's why here in this case, small, we have to say that it's a program of, of um, for their uh, uh, economic empowerment. And wow. uh, you don't say that it's about sexual abuse or no, no, so publicly no. So here we cannot child, say that. Child yes, sexual abuse going. is is a taboo. Well. It's amazing. So it's like super hidden. They know it's not the, you know, it's so we, you know, you, you have to translate to say, no, we are creating a school. It's a school that going to uh, teach them and care of them personally, of course, but we are, what we are going to do is a business so they can uh, make their own money. And that's what the official thing we say. And and they uh, you help them uh, make marmalades and other native food, and they sell it afterwards. So they are creating like you're helping them create a business for themselves. Yes, self sustaining. Yes, yes. and adapting the resources, the natural resources that are here, and creating quality and beautiful things. I hate when they. I just because buy me because I'm teach, no no buy me because it's good exactly. buy this because it's delicious. Yes. Do, do they do they sell it? I mean, people are buying their uh, products. Well, we we um, it's in January we are going to start the lab because uh, I want to. Another thing that we have to be aware is that we have to encourage them to be to that they I want them to feel that they own it, that it's it's theirs. So we are going to in January, we are going to start a lab where we will be playing, making like alchemia, you know, come on. Uh, we will teach them how to do marmalade, but then we will encourage to be creative. Come on, mix, mix, for example, I don't know. Um, I will want to, we want to make uh, marmalades with tequila. Come wow. on, let's play, you know, <laughs> or, make, uh, <laughs> at, uh, or mix herbs, herbs with uh, mango, or we want to play because then we will make like a kind of uh, uh, gift saying, ah, the two or three best, these ones, we will, will then start to produce, we'll make our labels, and my idea is to sell not only, not that they can sell in the market here, but no, let's dignify and I'll take it one step ahead. 
oh, let's go to a good restaurant and sell it to them, you know, or oh, nice hotels or fancy hotels. So <laughs> also we are going to play with that. <laughs> so I'm that's sure you're going to find a lot of things to do. Thank you. So Nuria, I was going to ask you now, um, do you think like creating marmalades and different native foods that you do with the girls, do you think it's a good tool to heal the trauma that is happening in their lives? What do you yes. think? Yes, for me, yes. In all this journey of, uh, of research, in my case, I found that it's a very tool because it's, let's say that we put the creating marmalade in the center, working with the food, and from there you work the inner part, all the inner healing that is needed, and also all projects, all the out to get a good life. So creating marmalades, you compel a lot of things. You compel the contact with nature, the work the values of respect of the cycles of nature and by that you connect with the cycles as women as mm -hmm. girls you know and it's playful and food is very important because there's a huge disconnection with the food and sadly we eat a lot of industrial food and then there are diseases and there are lacks and we, we see it in with our girls, you know. And for example, the two the two girls that were pregnant that have just uh, given birth, the two little boys are sick. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Yeah. So it's for me, it's very important to use the marmalades as the tool to work all the aspects, all the teachings, all the education of values, the education of uh, nutrition, of care, because food is medicine, is our medicine. It's not only our fuel, it's also the medicine. And for me, something that I think it's very important nowadays is to reconnect back with nature, reconnect. I say go back to the origin, you know, and back to what us. Yes. So I think it's a tool that, that, that has a very wide uh, spectrum, you know, very wide. Like the healthy living, if you're teaching them the healthy living and yes. when they eat healthy, they will respect their body and then the caring comes and everything. Yeah. And, and we touch, you, you know that the, the, the sexual abuse trauma uh, impacts, is that one of the worst, because it impacts not only the body, the mind, but the soul. And for me, I say it food for soul. And I think that uh, uh, eating, it's a pleasure. It is. We have to make it, a, yeah. <laughs> and it, isn't it in every part of the world that we enjoy eating? Eating. And health. So let's, so let's use it to nurture our souls too. So we, we want to everything. That's yes. It's it's a very yeah. powerful tool then. For me, I yes, I think yes. It is. And about the Garden Heaven project, your new project, uh share some things about it. Uh that is like my little lullaby. <laughs> well, Garden Heaven is uh it it's an extension and what we want in with Garden Heaven is to find a piece of land, like a ranch, you know, and then there give shelter and a life and a place to belong to the girls that have been uh, rejected by the society, by the family. And that's a, that's a reality, you know, sometimes they, when they get pregnant, the family, rejects them, the community rejects them. They don't have any place to go. Sadly, they end with very bad lives then, because you can imagine. They stigmatize, they stigmatize them. Well, what, what yeah. age are uh, the girls? Well, in, in right now in here, 
it's from we have them from 14 to 19 years mm -hmm. but sometimes we can find cases where girls with 10 11 years have been sexually abused and get pregnant so let's say we we, we decided to put the top 19 but up to yeah, maybe a uh, bigger age sometimes yes yeah oh from uh from whom are they sexual abuse from family or friends or unknown people about the case that you're you're having I mean. hmm. as usually is somebody they know mm -hmm. sadly and also here we have uh, in here we have as I told you the problem with the drugs and they go to capture them very small they go 12 because they are more influenced yes. and they use them you know and a few months ago one was killed Yes. Because, you know, they capture, they capture them and then they cannot pay. Yes. And if they don't pay and they are, don't serve anymore, I know this can sound very strong, but it's the truth. So, it, and it's like normal. That's the most impacting thing is that, oh, okay, this happened. Okay. Oh, they found her dead in the woods. How about that? Yes. I that's know. terrible. That's terrible. And the truth is that we have to protect ourselves. We cannot uh, rely on the police. So yes. unfortunately, yes, because there are some interests there, as I told you. Yes. So you believe that the Garden Heaven as a shelter will help a lot in, in your community? Yeah, because it, it has the same base is to create a self-sufficient space where we will grow the food, orchards, and uh, also the craft atelier is yeah. going to be there because we also want to give diversity. It's not only marmalades. We will start with yeah. that, but we whatever thing that arises from the girls. So that wants to be a safe place. Yes. Where they can grow, they can heal, and they can grow their children. It's a space... Not for the only the mom, but for the children. That's why we want, we understand that to have their individual home, because that's also very important. For me, it's very important that we join the individuality with the collective. Because exactly. up to now, we, we, or we deal one thing or we deal the other. No, I want to join that. So for me, it's very important that they have their own space, their own place where they are intimacy their freedom and then okay then a huge place where we will do common because we will all what i want there is that everyone takes responsibility because it's together together we will grow together not only one and the others uh you yes. know yes. participation for me to encourage the participation is a huge thing and as I tell you, the goal is very good, is very big, because what I want is to create, that we co-create all of us, a new ways of relationship, where we will respect that we, we, can, we don't all have to be good friends, but I will respect you, although maybe I don't feel you so close, you know? And with that back again, using the tool of nature. Yes using the reconnection with with the nations and by that work our inner reconnection okay. i want to create in these places i want to create a, like a council of women and girls that because for me it's very important very important that we join because we have uh it has been broken the way to transfer Mm -hmm. Our wisdom, it was cut. It was, they cut so the voice. Have, they closed the voice, so it's cut now. Yes, but we're, we, we have to 
uh, reconnect again. For me, yes, we have to reconnect. And that's why we have to join and doesn't matter the ages from the older to the younger. And we have to sit, gather. I, I visualize it like gathering in circle and all sharing with this respect, with, with maybe the little girl has a problem that of course you like an adult, you have experience. So let's recuperate uh, giving, transmitting the wisdom. Yes. That's and cool. listening, because I think that it's, it's, they bring to us freshness and they remind us how we used to be, isn't it? When we were young. Yes. yes. And of course. They, 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 they nurture us. In playfulness. That way. They're playful. Yeah. And they, ah, oh, you know, they, ah, oh, those things. So, uh, and we can transmit our experience. Uh, with one of the girls, yes, with one of the girls, I remember asking, what do you want to do? What would you like to do with your life project? And 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 she was so like dormant, you know, she was, no, it's okay. My, my, my boyfriend will, will take care of me. And I, and we were sitting there and we say, oh, sweetheart, that's nice. But let us, let us tell you one thing, life is alive and it changes sometimes in one second yes you know and she looked at, at us like saying uh, no it's, it isn't supposed that my whole life my boyfriend is going to take care of me <laughs> so i think it's very important that they, they have to learn how to rely on themselves and their strength and their power and uh, you're there to uh show them how to do that yeah right? Yes, and and the and the the sad thing that I, I went on research on internet to see about shelters around the world, not only my country but around the world, and there there are a lot of animal shelters and not shelters for uh, survivors. So yeah. I'm seeing the no. numbers and then the statistics, and I said, "What are we doing?" I mean. We have a huge problem of violence is increasing, sexual abuse is increasing, and child abuse is increasing. And children have to be protected. We have to break the circle that is going on yes. for, I don't know. So I hope people are, you know, funders are listening now. And uh, we want to help here. Nuria built this beautiful shelter, the Garden Heaven. That's going to bring a huge impact uh, yes, in, huge. in girls' lives. And I mean, 11 year old and she was raped and maybe pregnant and she doesn't have a place to live. No. Uh, what are we doing? You know, the next generation, yes. oh, we're not going to leave them like that. We have to do something and we have yes. to do it now. I think now, now is the time. Now, now, when now. they ask me, ah, oh, when, why do you think now? Because now, and, and, and be aware, if we can uh, lend them a true hand, the impact is huge, not only for them, but for the children. So the education of the children, then we will reach that, what we say, next generation is going to be a good generation. When sometimes people say, oh, this, it's going to take two, three generations to change. And I say, no, we have to do it now. Exactly. <laughs> if we don't break, break from, the circle. From us, from us. We're doing, we're doing it now. So we have to inspire other people to start doing it now. Now. Yes. Now is the time. Now is the time. And, and I would love you to share uh, a message before we close our show. What's the message you well, want to say to the world? The message that I would like to say, well, there are a lot of messages now, but <laughs> it's that <laughs> yes, it's that we we have to to understand that we we truly need to come together. This thing we cannot do it on our own. And that it's more simple than we think because you don't you have to if you just do it locally you lend a hand locally that's that's enough you don't have to make huge big things 
because as I said at the beginning, it's like overwhelming. So what I would like to say is that it's time that women and girls come together. Let's talk. Let's face the reality, not what it should be, what we would like it to be. We have to work from what is now. And the truth, the truth is that we are not being protected and not supported. We're still in every country in the world. They are still killing women every single day, you know? So, and just for whatever domination, the sexual abuse is still something that we talk, but it is still happening. And we are under laws that protect the ones that rape. Recently in Spain, a girl was raped and all the discussion again is that, oh, she was drunk, like it was her fault. And the victims received two impacts. The abuse they have received, plus the society saying that it's your fault or because she was dressed that way. And it's happening now. Exactly. When we think that we are, oh, no, sometimes they say, I know, Ria, now uh, things are better. And I say, where? Tell me where that I will go. No. Nowhere. There's nowhere better. The, the, and, it's, incre it's increasing. And... We hear it from different countries. We are in whirlpools and we know it. And here in Mexico is huge, the feminist thing. They, 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 they can... Nuria, it's, it's everywhere. Like thing. I researched it's everywhere. everywhere. There's no country so, in the world so that... My, no, no country. The States, United States, I don't care because there's no difference. So what I would like to say is, please let us come together. Let does make these councils in every place. And let's, with, I say it's like around the table, let's put on the table the things because it's also going to heal us. And let us listen to each one to what we think could help and be respectful of that. So that's my message. Let's come together, let's do it, let's change it. It's in our hands, it's in the women. We, we do not have to expect that the government will make a law. No, they are men. Look, yes. sorry. It's, can... I'm, not against, I'm not against men, eh? but <laughs> I, it, 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 it's like, it's our problem. It's, so it's, it's us that we have it's to not solve about it. Men. It's about the patriarchal society. That's it. That, that's the issue. It's not about a man or the man. It's no. this patriarchal society, the structure, the old, old uh, structure that we need to break it out. And we have to, to, to be aware that it, we have to step up. We don't have to wait no more. Stop waiting for permission. No. Come on. We have the right. We have to internalize that. You, they don't have to give us the right. We don't have to celebrate the day of the woman. Why? Is there a, t a celebration of a day of a man? No. Exactly. And we have to, We. I don't say that it's not, uh, that it's bad to make manifestations, but come on, we have to do, we have to be, we have to think very important women. We are creative and we are very intelligent. We care, we carry inside of us a wisdom. So we have to awaken that wisdom and holding our hands and helping us. But we have to step, we have to stop thinking that we cannot do it. So that's why I always say, begin with the small. Let's, bring, let's do councils in each part. So that's, that's what my, mess, my message is that, come on, women and girls together don't care about the age. We have to come together and create new ways, new ways to of relations, new ways to protect us, to be able to say no. And if somebody does something, let's get smart. What can we do? Because then they will stop doing it because they will don't they will not have chance. But now they have chance because we are divided, divided. They do it very well. They know that we have to divide, divide. And so yes. You have to unite. You have to yes. unite. 
and let's let's let let's face this this thing. Yes, we are uh, when the campaign of Me Too. Okay, yes, I appreciate it, but what's the reality? Still and still they are killing and still they are doing and so let's face it and say okay we have to do something more this is not enough exactly that's right so let's come together girls <laughs> that's a really good message for all women out there and before we close the show how can somebody um reach out to you and get in touch with you do you want us uh when we finish uh, the show and put some links so people can yes Yes, I would love. Are you in social media? I mean, Facebook. Your. I I use more the email. I'm a one of my impacts is that I'm very backstage. <laughs> and yes, I have I have the Instagram, but you will see that I do not talk it too much out because oh. I I preserve preserve. I'm very protective. Okay. Huge protection, and then that's why you will see that maybe. I just talk a little bit. All right. To so prevent and protect. For me, it's very important that we keep safe. All right. Okay. All of us. You you have a web page. You have. See, I have a web, and I I will give you the email so you can put it. All right. I will okay. put you the web page, and I can put you my That's Instagram right. also, no problem. But just know that maybe you will see. Ah, she doesn't talk too much about this. Um, no, I do it more in intimate or private. I think it's something that we have to also care when we talk. Okay. Uh, because I've seen also, I remember there was a campaign that I, it hurt me a lot to see that they were not talking properly about this huge issue of sexual abuse. And it's something that we have to, to talk it with very, very much respect. Exactly. It's not uh, something fashionable. No, it's something serious. It is. And... Uh, and I don't like to yeah mm -hmm. okay then okay. thank you very much Maria no for, thank you to you for for sharing all that you're doing I wish you all good wishes and thank you continue what you're doing you're doing great work and thank you to our viewers for being here and I appreciate the yes. comments and feedback and wonderful support and yes. See you in another edition. Thank you, Noria. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.